Hi y'all, it's Crystal Porter here. This is your first time watching. Thanks for watching. Please like this video by clicking the thumbs up button. Share this video by clicking the share button. Subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button. To receive notifications on my upcoming videos, click the bell button. Comment any prayer, salvation, and or Holy Spirit requests or praises so I can do reports on them in my next videos. We are currently at 67 subscribers, 1,000 required. 107 public watch hours, 4,000 required. To hashtag help where needed. That's where we're able to help you or someone that you know that is struggling financially. Once we're able to get monetized, I want to thank you for supporting me on this channel, in this journey, and in this calling. Let's go ahead and get started into prayer by bowing our heads and closing our eyes. Thank you. Come Lord Jesus, we just invite you into this video today to speak through me everything you want us to know today. Give us spiritual eyes to see the things you want us to see, spiritual ears to hear the words that are spoken today, spiritual heart to be open and able to receive all that you have for us today. Give us wisdom and understanding about what's being said today and how to apply it today as we put on the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth, feet of readiness, shield of faith, sword of the spirit. Guard and protect us as we travel today, our vehicles, our loved ones, their vehicles, others, their vehicles, and the animals as well. Send down our guardian angels to protect us today. We thank you for them. Give them and us the rest and restoration we both need to do the work you called us to do. Send down the Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth today. We plead the blood of Jesus and pray Psalm 51 and 91 over us, our loved ones in the world today. Pray against any distractions in our minds, in our hearts today, so we can focus on what you have for us right now. Pray against any attacks of the enemy over this video, this channel, and everyone listening today. We pray for favor over this video, this channel, and everyone listening today. We pray for God's blessings over this video, this channel, and everyone listening today. And we pray for, uh, for anyone that needs help in anything today, Lord, that you just help them with whatever they need your help with today. And we thank you for them. If there's anyone we need to be praying for, speaking encouraging words to, or listening to, show us that person. We pray that you hedge and protect our leaders, our loved ones, us, and the world. That you show mercy on our leaders, our loved ones, us, and the world. That you heal our land. Lord, we pray that you forgive us of each and every sin, whether it be in thought, word, or action done to you or anyone else as we forgive those who've sinned against us. If there's anyone listening today, Lord, that has not yet accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior, we pray John 3.16 over them. For God so loved the world that he sent his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. If you prayed that prayer with me today, you can know that you're going to go to heaven someday with the rest of the believers. And we thank you for this person. We pray over them, Lord, that they're able to hear your still small voice and obey what you tell them to do and say. Help them in their daily walk and relationship with you to draw close to you in prayer and getting into your word each and every day. Show them the gifts and talents you've given them and how to use them for your glory to help those around them in need. We thank you for them and everyone listening. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you and pray. Amen. All right. So, we are going to be talking about Holy Spirit Report number 15. Had one of our YouTube family members um, comment. And so, we are going to be doing a report on that today. And I want to thank you for this person commenting and everyone else that has too. May 
what they share on their heart that the Lord's leading them to share with us. May it bless us all. All right. Thank you for you commenting and walking in obedience and everyone here today listening. May we all be blessed. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. This is what one of our YouTube family members commented. Um, so we're doing a Holy Spirit number 15 on it. All right. For context, in the book of John, chapter 8, verse 31. So to those Judahites have given credence towards him. Jesus said, if you remain in my word, you truly are my disciples. Verse 32, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Speaking to the Judahites, in the book of John, chapter 8, verse 39, they answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's sons, you would be doing the works of Abraham. Verse 40, But now you search to murder me, a man who has spoken to you the truth that I have heard from God. Abraham did not do that. Verse 41, You are carrying out the works of your father. So they said to him, We have not been born out of fornication. We have one Father, God. Verse 42, Jesus said to them, If God were your Father, you would have loved me. In the book of Leviticus, chapter 18, verse 15, The nakedness of your daughter-in-law you shall not uncover. She is the wife of your son. You shall not uncover her nakedness. Don't have sex with your daughter-in-law. In the book of First Chronicles, chapter 2, verse 3, the sons of Judah were Er and Onan and Shelah, born to him out of the daughter of Shua, the Kenites. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verses 1 through 4, and Er, the firstborn of Judah, was evil in the sight of Yahweh, so he killed him. Must have took a wife he shouldn't have. Verse 4, and his daughter-in-law Tamar gave birth by him, Judah, to Pharaoh and Zerah. The sons of Judah were, verse 5, were five in all. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 1, when Yahweh, your Elohim, brings you into the land where you are going in order to possess it, and he has driven out many nations before you, the Hittites and the Gergesites, and the Amorites and the Canaanites in the book of First Chronicles chapter 2 verse 3 in the book of Genesis chapter 38 verse 2 and the Parasites and the Hivites and the Jebusites seven nations stronger and more mighty than you verse 2 and when Yahweh your Elohim delivers them before you you shall strike them you shall completely destroy them. You shall make no covenant with them, nor shall you show mercy to them. Verse 3, you shall make no marriages with them. You shall not give your daughter to his son, nor shall you take his daughter for your son. In the book of Genesis, chapter 38, verses 1 through 2, and verses 6 through 7. Judah took her in verse 2, then took her for his son in verse 6. Seems to me that a Dolomite man he visited where, his, where he saw a daughter of a Canaanite had to be of a been a pimp sex trafficker, pimping her out, then he takes a wife for his son heir. I bet from some same pimp, because in Genesis chapter 38 verse 15, Judah saw his daughter-in-law and thought she was a prostitute. Because her face was covered, she had a veil on. Judah was obviously familiar. He gave a pledge to, as a promise, to, to give what he said he would give. A kid from flock in exchange for sex, his signet ring, bracelet, and staff he had. Basically now, it's the staff of unrighteousness, unlike the staff of righteousness we see in the book of Psalm, chapter 45, as Deuteronomy was about to say before I expounded on this. Verse 4, for they will turn away your son from following me. 
so that they may serve other gods. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 44 verses 11 through 27. So the anger of Yahweh will burn against you and wipe you out quickly. Verse 5. But rather you shall deal with them in this way. You shall break down their altars in God's. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 44 verses 11 through 27. So the anger of Yahweh will burn against you and wipe you out quickly. Verse 5. But rather... You shall deal with them in this way. You shall break down their altars and break up their images and cut down their groves and burn up their carved images with fire. Books of Acts chapter 7 verses 42 through 43. And the book of Genesis chapter 38 verse 24. And it came to pass about three months afterwards that it was reported to Judah saying, Your daughter-in-law Tamar has committed adultery and also... You see, she is expecting a child through prostitution. The book of Genesis chapter 38 verse 11. Then Judah said to his daughter-in-law Tamar, Remain as a widow at your father's house until my son Sheila has grown up. For he said, In case perhaps he dies like his brothers as well. In the book of Genesis chapter 38 verse 20. And Judah sent the kid of the goats. In the book of Matthew chapter 25 verse 33. By the hand of his friend, the Edelmite, to receive the pledge from the woman's hand. But he did not find her. So the Edelmite has goat kids. He traffics, probably from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 1, lists of tribes not to covenant with our Mary. In the book of Genesis chapter 38, verse 12, And in the process of time, the daughter of Shua, Judah's wife, died, and Judah was comforted had sex with the prostitute, and he went up to his sheep shears to Timnah. He and his friend Hira the Adamite. See, Judah was with trafficker pimp Adamite. In the book of Genesis chapter 38 verse 1, And it came about at that time that Judah went down away from his brothers, and he visited an Adamite woman, whose name was Hira. Verse 2, And Judah said, saw there was a daughter of a certain Canaanite, whose name was Shua, and he took her and went into her. Judah just takes whatever goat kid he wants from his friend, the trafficker. The book of Genesis chapter 38 verse 6, and Judah took a wife for Ur. Common sense says he took her from his friend Hira, the sex trafficking Adomite man. He received a kid of the goats by the Adomite to give to Tamar, which he gave her signet ring bracelets, staff as a promise to pay with kid from flock, which we see are goats. His firstborn, whose name was Tamar. Verse 7, And here, Judah's firstborn was evil in the eyes of Yahweh, and Yahweh killed him. Going to paraphrase verses 8, 9, and 10, Judah had son Onan have sex with brother's wife, and he did, and it was evil in the eyes of Yahweh, so he killed him too, like Ur. In the book of Genesis, chapter 38, verse 14, And she took off her widow's garments from herself, Tamar. She covered herself with a veil, and she disguised herself. Verse 15, When Judah saw her, he thought her a prostitute, because she had covered her face. Verse 16, And he turned to her by the roadside, and he said, Come now, please let me come into you. For he did not know that she was his daughter-in-law. And she said, I will send you a kid from the flock, his pimp friend Hira, the Edomite, who has the goat kids. She said, Will you give me a pledge till you send it the goat kid from flock? Verse 20. Verse 18. And he said, What pledge shall I give you? And she said, Your signet ring and your bracelets and your staff that is in your hand. And he gave it to her, and he went into her, and she conceived by him. Judah Fornicator. In the book of Genesis, chapter 38, verse 24. And Judah said, Bring her out and let her be burned. Verse 25. When she was brought out, she sent word to her father-in-law, saying, By the man to whom these belong, I am expecting a child. And she said, Discern, please, to whom do these belong, the signet and bracelets and staff. Verse 26. And Judah recognized them, and he said, She has been more righteous than I am, because I did not give her to my son Sheila. 
in the book of Genesis chapter 38 verse 19 and she rose up and departed and removed the veil from her face and she put on the garments in her widowhood the book of Isaiah chapter 25 verse 7 and he will swallow up this mountain the face of the covering thrown over all the peoples and the veil that is spread over all the nations of true Israel not divorced Judah so I want to thank you um, YouTube family member for sharing this um, report with us and um, may all of us been blessed by this and I want to thank you for you for sharing that with us and I want um, to encourage anybody else that the Lord the Holy Spirit speaking to that anything else that needs to be shared on this channel go ahead and comment that as well all right may y'all be blessed today and until next time bye